chopper! Hey guys, this is Marco, and today we'll be doing something new. I want to start with a new series, like a tutorial series, where we do like five questions or five weapons that we talk about. Because I've been looking in the forums, and there's always the same que questions that pop up every day. So that's why I wanted to start this. I'm not sure yet if we'll be doing this weekly or monthly, but anyway, let's just start the video. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of hate, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of hate, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. So all of you probably already know the use of zip lines. You just fire the zip line, then you see a cord, you zip down on it, and that's it. But did you all also know that you can kill people with it? That's right! If you're going for a kill shot, make sure you aim towards the head, because otherwise you'll have to shoot twice. And you know how long that thing reloads, right? Just make sure you're always aiming towards the head, because there's no bullet drop, so the arrow will go directly towards the enemy's head. We've also tried doing the same thing with the grappling hook, but it never damages my opponent. All it does is either nothing, or it just pushes him away, and that's pretty much it. Another interesting use for a zipline is, you can use it as a range finder. For instance, if your enemy is way too far away from you and you don't know how high up you have to aim, just use your zipline, look at the numbers on the right, adjust your uh, aim and fire away. In this next part, let's talk about how to zero your sniper. Because many of you have seen the numbers below your reticle, but nobody actually knows what they're for. So I'm gonna explain you how to use them and why you should use them. Now, just imagine you don't have zipline with you, but you've spotted an enemy far, far away. How do you know where to aim and how do you know how to headshot him properly? Well, first of all, look at the flags. The nearest flag next to your enemy should indicate how far he is. Try to recognize the distance. So if you didn't zero your sniper, you have to aim like way above the enemy's head. And it's kind of hard, as you can see right here. So that's why you need to zero the sniper rifle. Basically, zeroing relies on how far your target is away from you. So if he's like 100 meter or... 200 meters away from you, you just have to look on the lines. The further away, the lower the line that is. The, uh, the line itself should align with his head if you want to go for a headshot. But if you want to make it easier, you gotta zero your sniper rifle. Now how do you start zeroing a sniper rifle? Basically you see these take. numbers right below. We know our target is at fo f almost 400 meters away from us, so we put the zero at 400 meters. This means that if your target is 400 meters away you from you and you location. aim directly at his head, that will be a headshot. So now that we're talking about spotting people, let's talk about the camera. When I was going for the assignments, I always wanted to know how far this thing will spot. So right now, my friend will be at the end of the road and he will running towards the camera. So as soon as he gets spotted, I ask him to stop, so we can see at what distance he is. So as you can see here, it's approximately 70 meters, 
So just in case, let's let's try that again. So as you can see here, 70 meters is confirmed, so everyone in front of your camera up to 70 meters will be spotted. In this next part we will be testing who runs faster, a guy with a assault rifle, a guy with a handgun or a guy with a knife. So I've heard many rumors about this, I never thought it would be true, but I really wanted to see who would run faster. So here it is. Now you can see what happens. So as you can see here, a pistol and a knife can outrun an assault rifle. So now you know. And as a final part of this video, I wanted to see what sabotage can do. Sabotage is a gadget only for mechanic. This works almost the same way as C4. You just stick it onto a vehicle and instead of detonating it, the vehicle has to move, and then it will be exploding. One more down! Here you will see a perfect example by what I mean that the vehicle has to move. Because the enemy can sit in the vehicle as long as he wants, but as soon as it moves, it explodes. Took out armed suspect! I never knew this until somebody used it against me, but apparently you can use sabotage against some bad, uh, weapon pickups. Just as you can see right now. The same thing works with doors, if you stick it onto a door, it will explode. But keep in mind, if you're going for the assignment where you have to kill some vehicles, this does not count, because door isn't a vehicle. This is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe to stay up to date with our upcoming videos. Take care. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of haze, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of haze, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it